If you have prediabetes, one of the cheapest and easiest ways to get a handle on your blood sugar is by using a glucometer, also known as a blood glucose meter. I'm going to give you a quick summary of one, why you would use a glucometer with prediabetes, two, how to purchase and use a glucometer, and three, the pros and cons of using a glucometer. A glucometer is a small portable device that lets you check your blood sugar at home. It looks like this. The devices can tell you in seconds if your blood sugar is too high, too low, or on target. Glucometers have traditionally been used by people who have diabetes to check their blood sugar to make sure they're administering medication properly. But if you have prediabetes, you can also use a glucometer to help you reverse the condition because what you can see, you can change and you do not need a prescription to purchase or use a glucometer. I always ask, why would you want to wait until you have prediabetes before you start using a great tool like a glucometer or a continuous glucose monitor? which if you're interested in using a continuous glucose monitor or a CGM, check out my other video on that topic. It explains everything. Here's how to use a glucometer. The glucometer typically comes with the meter, testing strips, a lancing device, and lancets, which are basically little needles. It's helpful to have a Kleenex nearby as well. So you get everything laid out. First, you take out a new testing strip out of its package and get it ready to go. Then you put the lancet into the lancing device and remove the protective cap by twisting it off the top. The lancing device is spring loaded so the needle will quickly come out when you're ready to push the button. And finally, you put the device cover back on. You choose a finger that you're going to do the test on and you get the meter ready by inserting the testing strip. The meter will come to life and tell you that it's ready to go. You hold the lancing device against the top of a finger and press. The needle will quickly come out and create a shallow puncture. You then gently squeeze your finger so that a drop of blood forms, which you then press against the testing strip. An electronic circuit detects the glucose on the strip, displaying it as a number on the screen, usually within seconds. It's that easy. The whole process takes about one minute to complete. Now, does it hurt? Just a little, but really it's not bad, and you'll get a hang of the whole process very quickly. The best time to use a glucometer is first thing in the morning, about an hour after you wake up. Now, make sure that you've fasted, meaning that you haven't eaten anything for at least eight hours. This is what's known as your fasting blood sugar. So, what should that number be in the morning? The expected values for normal fasting blood sugar are between 70 and 100 milligrams per deciliter. Values between 100 and 125 measured on two different occasions are considered prediabetic. You can purchase a glucometer at a local drugstore or most easily on Amazon. They range in price between $20 and $30. It's so easy to purchase them and use them. I have a link for my favorite glucometer, the one that I personally use, below. Again, you do not need a prescription or to have diabetes to purchase and use a glucometer, and they are very accurate. According to the FDA, glucose meter values are required to be within 15% of results obtained from a lab 95% of the time and within 20% of lab measurements 99% of the time. So that's pretty darn accurate, and you don't have to go to a lab. Glucometers work really well for measuring that morning or fasting glucose number. So now, let me be clear about the limitations of glucometers. One, you have to prick your finger each time to get a reading, which some people don't like, so it can discourage use. Two, the strips can only be used once, and they can be costly depending on which glucometer you use. Three, the biggest disadvantage is that you cannot easily determine your blood sugar level after eating a meal. So let me explain. 
when you consume food, it takes time for the food to be converted into glucose. As the food starts to convert, your blood sugar will begin to rise and it will continue to rise until it reaches a peak. That peak number is called your postprandial blood glucose peak. And it's an important number because it's the ultimate true effect that a meal has had on your blood sugar. But to capture that measurement with a glucometer to determine if it's in a normal range is difficult to say the least. You would have to either know exactly when the peak occurs or you would need to take multiple measurements to test at the right moment. And that wouldn't be fun. But using a glucometer to test your fasting blood sugar in the mornings is a great way to get started in understanding why you have prediabetes. I recommend testing at least once a week and particularly the morning. The morning fasting blood sugar can be a really good indicator of how balanced your meals were the day before. So this will help you begin to connect the dots on what is causing elevated blood sugar. So that's it for now. If you like what you're hearing and want more tips for prediabetes and weight loss, then hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.